That was the question. That was the question. Um, the fact of the matter is, he's a man chosen by God. He doesn't permit anyone into paradise. Wait. We'll continue. So you have to say that. Yeah, that's it. He, 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 he doesn't have the authority to allow anyone into paradise. It's only by the permission of God. He can intercede for you. Okay. Similarly, the Quran can intercede for you as well. So, right now, um, the Quran on Judgment Day will be like, look. Um, don't send this person to hellfire. This person recited me a lot, had a connection with me. Yeah? Okay. The Prophet, peace okay. be upon him, can you see that? Say, look, because um, they were, were the prophets, uh, the Ummah of the Prophet, the believers of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, yeah? are referred to as his brothers because we believed in him without seeing him. Okay, um, my next question, sorry. So you see, um, just so I get the name right, is it called Doers? The different um, books and stuff. The Doers? What are they called? Um, Mercy, that's not the name. What are they like called? Hadiths, I don't know. Hadiths, yeah. Hadiths, Hadiths, Hadiths. Did, so Hadiths, really, Hadiths are is, the yeah. spoke, the actions and the words of the Prophet Muhammad okay. that's been preserved. So my question is, do you believe in all the Hadiths? I believe in all the authentic Hadiths. Okay. So, do you believe in the hadith that speaks on relations with a nine-year-old? Um, you have to elaborate. The Prophet Muhammad, is it Prophet Muhammad? I don't want to misquote it. Yeah. But somebody having relations with a nine-year-old and marrying them. Well, starting a marriage at six I'm, I'm, and having a marriage with them up until they're nine. Having sexual relations with a nine-year-old. Excellent. Yeah. I love this. You know, this is the Christians. Um, no, this is not a Christian no, no, no. question. It, it, it's, so fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm merely asking I this love, question. I'm, I'm answering you. Go I'm ahead. answering you. Because mm -hmm. yeah? the thing is, you know, when Christians, they've got their back against the wall. Yeah? This is what they come up with. I'm now, not, let me my ask back you a question. against the wall, by the way. By let me way. ask you a question. I'm, I'm completely fine. They, they, they can decide because they can see the no, recording see. of the this previous is, conversation. This is a yeah? simple question. Now, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Is there something wrong with having marital relationships with a nine-year-old? Tell me biblically. Did you hear that question? Is there something wrong? Are you talking to me or are you talking to her? Are you talking to me or are you talking to her? Hold on, as a, as a human. What, no, no, no. What, what does your Bible say? What does your Bible what is, say? What do you mean? What does my Bible say? So your Bible doesn't comment on it. So you have to ask her. I would have been loud. As a human. So you don't ask God. You don't read the scripture. You ask a human being. I haven't, I read, the, been I haven't read the hadith. I didn't even know what it was called. That's why I was asking so you. So right now, I'm asking you, what does your Bible say? Why would my Bible what does your comment God say? The, why would my Bible comment so on the is, question? So there's nothing Hold wrong with you. Question. Let me ask you. So question. there's nothing wrong me, with you having your intercourse Hold with a nine-year-old. Let me answer your question. Your scripture doesn't Hold mention this. Let me answer your question, yeah? Why would my Bible comment on the actions of Prophet Muhammad? What was my question? Why what is your you ask, is it in the Bible? Did you not just ask, no, no, is it in the Bible? No, 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 no. You asked, right is it now, in the Bible? Why would how the Bible old, speak how upon... How old was Rebecca when she got married? I can't answer you that, I don't know. You don't know? No. So your Bible teaches that a three-year-old, you can marry a three-year-old, have married a relationship with a three-year-old, and you don't know this. Google it, my bro, you've got it there. Yeah, and we'll Google the same how, how, with the how six. How old was? The six. We'll, we'll Google it with the same... What's that, brother? Madam, come join join the conversation. Yes. Okay. Now, madam, I'm not in a position to defend. Know, for what I know, for what I know, is that Asian girls get married very young, at a very young age, younger than normal. I would argue, madam. What 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 country are your parents from, natively? I'm from Jamaica. Jamaica. At what age in your parents' generation did they get married? Young or old? Sure, but can I just well, well, no, 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 madam, let's not change the subject because the fact of my mother is... got married at 24. 24. Yeah. Culturally, in Jamaica, uh, that generation, okay. what, what, when did they get married? Because we're talking about culture. Because I can give you. That's why it was. Just, so they use this arbitrary number. They're like, look, 18. About culture, during slavery, yeah, the Arabs, yeah, which are Muslim, they captured the Africans, yeah, and they took us into slavery. That's not true, madam. No, that is absolutely That's not true. true. The That's Arabs, not true. The Arabs. No, provide your evidence, so madam. Who was it that provide your, uh, Ironically, I don't ironically, you're going to say. Let me finish. Let me finish what I'm saying. Let's finish. Before you no, 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 me. Madam, madam, no, madam. I don't like you're talking say. about Arabs and slavery. This is. Yeah, this is. This is. You're asking. Let me finish, yeah. If you're going to be a good. 
interview exactly. her, you, you let people I'm not, I'm not interviewing you, madam. Oh. We're going we're going from one topic to another, whatever. and you I'm not here to give you a platform no, you for you to spout whatever you no, feel I'm like. Not you are, madam. Because the fact of the matter is, I'm you're not going to provide any evidence. Right? You mentioned about Asian people getting married at a young no, age. I said the Arabs. Let me talk. Let me talk. Yeah, let me talk. There's a time for slavery that you all have to agree that happened. Yeah, slavery. The Africans were bought on big ships from Africa, from Africa to America, to all the West Indies, yeah? During slavery, during slavery, the black people were kidnapped by the Arabs. Madam, madam, madam. That is the truth. I'm going to continue and the, the conversation from here. And this was yeah. all financed. This was all financed. Yeah. No, 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 my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, you asked me a question. Yeah, the first question. Yeah, about what Islam says or what my view is about having intercourse with a nine-year-old. So I said somebody who very well read biblically, someone who's a follower of Christianity, what does the Bible say about intercourse with a minor. Let me answer that question. I also tell you I'm not a biblical scholar, so I'm not going to know word for word. Okay, let me, let me, let me educate you. No, let you me educate you. Me I am going to educate you. Well, I am going to educate you. I am educating you because you don't know. Humble yourself, humble yourself, humble yourself, humble yourself. Right now, you said, you said to me, you don't know. So let me tell you, the Bible, the Bible doesn't give an age limit on when you can have intercourse. That's yes. what I said to you earlier. In fact, that's backed up. So that means you can have intercourse with a three-year-old girl yeah. called Rebecca yeah. and you can get married at the age of three years old. Now, let me educate you in regards to what Islam says. Yeah, but I don't want to Let's know that. So that You've asked the question, I'm answering it. You've you asked the question. question. No, 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 no. You, you, you try question. to be inflammatory, you thought, yeah, 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 I got the crypt, I got the kryptonite. Yeah, no, I didn't let me, let me, you, you, you got question, your final bullet, you yeah? Your, you shot it and it bounced off. It bounced off, yeah? It bounced off. So let me tell you the Islamic position. Because I didn't even say that. I'm speaking, I'm speaking, I'm speaking. Go ahead. Islam, there's no arbitrary number. It doesn't say, oh, um, you can have intercourse with someone once they're 18. You can have intercourse with someone when they're 19. It says. And you said because yeah, of culture earlier. It says, yeah, that there are four criteria before you get married. Yeah. Um, firstly, they have to be physically capable. So they have physically to have started. Capable. Start. Can I things. speak? Like, why, yeah, why are you being all dramatic, man? Right? Okay. No, no, revelation, no, no. interesting. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Physically capable, so you have to have started your period. Mm. Yeah. You have to be mentally capable. Mm. Mental capacity. Yeah, we agree with yeah. that. That's not yes. okay, there's, No, no, no. There's nothing in Islam anyone okay. will sound intellect will disagree with. Yeah. Sorry? So, there's nothing in Islam anyone will sound intellect will disagree with. Yeah. Yeah. Now, in Islam, you need number the permission three, yeah. of the, the guardian, the father. And it can't cause them harm. Is that number four? That's number four. Okay. In no so, particular order. So, number so one now, two, let me ask you a question. Oh, so I can't answer what you just said. There's no, I haven't asked the question. <laughs> There's nothing to answer. So, sorry, like off the back of your explanation, no, 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 I no. take my takeaways from what no, you just no, said? No, 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 I can't. no, no, no. So no, no, the no. intellect of a, no, what do you say? The, in, the intellect. Okay, let me, let me, person. if you want to answer a question, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. My four criteria. Do you disagree with any of these four criteria? No, well, we go don't. Over, no, I want to speak yeah. on one and two. Go over one and two again. Madam, you, one, one at a time, please. It um, yeah. country to country, culture but, to culture. Wait, one and two again, please. Yeah. Right. I can't remember the exact word I said it with. So Number firstly, one was about them, puberty. Them, puberty yeah. Yeah. They okay, have to be physically developed. Okay, first one, let's speak on that. So is a somebody that's between the ages of six to nine physically developed? Six to nine? Yeah. Now, science has shown, yeah, mm -hmm. countries that are closer to the equator, have, uh, quicker development, they start their puberty sooner. They start their menstrual cycle between six and nine. I've never said between six and nine. 
Well, that's yeah. what we're speaking about. Islamically, Hanif, what's, what's, what's Islamically, Hanif, is Islamically, well, we're the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You can get married um, without. Um, you can get married at any age. What you would in this society, in this culture, call engagement. Yeah. So we, we, we. That's permissible. Now, once they're of sound mind. Yeah. Again, that's with the consent of the guardian. Once they're of sound mind, yeah, once they've started the puberty and they've become a woman, yeah, adulthood, then they can nullify, they can get out of the marriage if they don't want to get be in the marriage. So the Prophet was in wedlock with Aisha Radanha at the age of six. Yes. But the thing you don't realize is, even before the Prophet was in wedlock with her, she had other engagements. So right now, your suit, yes, you're superimposing a different timeline, a different culture and say, so, oh, this is wrong. Let me finish. So now, that's fine. So it doesn't big. mean, it doesn't mean the Aisha Radanha was started a puberty at that point. Mm. Now, when they got into a fully fledged marital contract, was fully marriage, at the age of nine, mm. she had met the four criteria of starting her puberty. Yeah. So puberty she was a woman. She was intellectually yes uh, well enough. now no okay. no 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 go and do your own research you have she was a scholar in her own right mm. yeah in a society where one out of a hundred men knew how to read she, she was, was a scholar she was reading and writing read her works read her own testimony read the testimony of people around her and then tell me if you had the issue with what the prophet done. so now you want to talk about um, can someone start the puberty between ages of six and nine? No, I didn't want to speak about that. He's a scientist. I was actually asking you about the original question that we first spoke about, which was, can the Prophet Muhammad grant you access to Jannah? You said, wait, wait, just so no, I didn't miss no, no, you. No, no, wait, wait, just no, no, so I didn't miss no, no, you. No, 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 Let's finish this topic because it's getting recorded. Right now, are you are you okay with what? the what? marriage of the Aisha Radama? Challenge it, challenge it. Hold on, we just finished it. You just said, you just said, 69, or um, she was, it's a different culture, closer to the equator. She was more developed than somebody now between the ages of six to nine. That's what you just said, right? Because she's closer really. to the equator. I think when you're closer to the equator, equator, hotter countries, you start your puberty sooner. Exactly. So, so right now, in this society, you might think, oh, yeah, that's 15, weird. But, it's, but back then, and close, it's, so we're agreeing, and you're shaking your head. I literally just said, okay, to what you just said. Now, so do you have question, an issue with hold on, someone being married anyway. with I someone who's on the period? The and this is why I said. Okay, that's why. So now, alhamdulillah, you don't have you don't have an issue with it now, yeah. Alhamdulillah, I'm glad. I'm I'm glad. No, no, no. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Thank you for not listening. Thank you, madam. That's fine. The Arabs are Muslims. They raped our children. That's not my idea. No, no, that's fine. Come, 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 come. But my original question to you, brother, simply as put as this: Can the Prophet Muhammad grant you access to Jannah? That was the original question, and I just wanted you to expand upon that simply. And as you said, for my second question, I didn't have an issue with it. It was merely a question. That's, That's right. it. Are you satisfied with the answer? Yes, because I don't Brilliant. know more to it, so I can't. I'm, That's I'm fine. going to speak to someone. So now I'm not we'll, super let's, educated. let's go back to your I just initial want to question. Answer the original question. That's it. Go ahead, bro. And I, I done it. I done it in backwards order due to the fact that it seemed like there was a red herring. So I thought, let me address the last point because that's the most like... So the Prophet peace be upon him without the authority of Allah can't grant anyone paradise. Okay. So what I was saying to you earlier, because this is why there's the disparity. So we believe you cannot be granted access to paradise by righteous works. How do you go about go into Jannah then if it's not through Prophet Muhammad or he can't grant you access. So you believe that you can't enter paradise through righteous works? Yes. It's with Titus 3 verse 5. It's not by righteous works that we are saved, but it's by the grace that we are saved. Because that's what that's what I was going to originally speak to you. As a Muslim, let me finish. 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 Let me fin
why you need Jesus to come down. Because no, 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 now wait, you're making a separate wait, point. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm no, not. you're going to go into a monologue. One. Please, you're going into a monologue. Please, monologue. Please, let me finish, a monologue. Brother. Please let me finish, brother. Don't do this. No, no, you've we, asked we've me a question. We've actually been more respectful in this one-on-one, -on -one, so please, just oh. let me learn. Let me learn. I was no, you're, you're yeah. preaching now. You're preaching, yes, my God. Because you're preaching. I'm not preaching. I'm answering your question. You've asked me a question. I'm answering your question, my God. You're funny. You're funny. You're funny. You're a funny guy. Anyway. Um, you even made me uh, forget where I was. Sorry. Titus 3 verse 5 says, Not by righteous works, but by the grace that we are saved. The grace is what Jesus has granted us through his death, burial, and resurrection. Yeah? Okay. Hold on, hold on. And wait, 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 wait. I'm going to call it a wait. day, man. Wait. wait. You're, you're, you're just preaching the Bible now. What do you say? What do you say? Bible, huh? Bible, from Bible. Are you talking from Bible? Yeah. You're asking me a question. Yeah, I am, I am, I am. And because then you're calling your Bible. No, 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 no. no. Shouldn't wasn't. you listen Bro, to my answer? Wait, wait, listen, listen, Shouldn't listen. you listen to my answer? Listen, listen. No, because you're, you're, you're being disingenuous wait, now. Wait, wait, wait. It's you're not disingenuous. You're yeah, actually just you're doing something. Actually, you're that's asking. That's something location from you <laughs> because you're throwing words it's, that it's you think I won't words. know. Yes, it's you think I'm throwing out push words that I won't know. What no, that's circumlocution. What do you mean disingenuous? There's nothing disingenuous You're not about what genuine. I just said. Yeah, there's you've nothing, asked me there's a nothing question. ingenuous. There's nothing you've wrong with what me, I just said. You've asked there's me a question. Let me I'm in the process statement. of answering. No, no, Bro, we haven't got to I the point of answering. I think we could have a lovely debate, you know. Yeah. Really we can genuine. organize, we'll organize we a debate. we we'll organize a debate. But I'm not here about debate. You know what I mean? Oh, no, it's calm, it's calm, bro. No problem. Let me just finish what I was saying. No, then you can, you can preach. No, no, you can preach later. Yes, because I preach myself. I I listen. Okay, okay, you're still listening. Do you have any questions, Aki? Oh, no, Can you listen no. to this? Yeah, you, listen, you still had nicely, yeah, it was I destroyed, yeah? Alhamdulillah, down to the soul, yeah? Was. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. No, no, no. As you said, you don't want, you don't want, you want, you want merely the question. You want merely the question, yeah? You've asked your question. You want, I've yeah. answered so your answer question. It, answer it. Yeah. Answer I've it. answered your question. Now, what you said, How and do you I grant agree, access to and I, I agree as a Muslim, yeah, mm -hmm. that we don't enter paradise through our righteous deeds. Yes. Yeah? And as a Muslim, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. It's through um, the mercy of Allah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now. When you're talking about grace, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, grace implies that look, here, I'm going to give this to you yeah, it, for yeah. free. I don't want it. Yeah. That's fine. Hypothetically, I, I I'm not offering it to you. I I'm speaking hypothetically. Mm -hmm. Let me speak to my hypothetical invisible friend here. I'm going to give this to them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, if I'm going to show grace, mm -hmm. yeah, what does that imply? Yeah. Am I going to say, look, I'm giving this to you, but you have to give me something in return? Yeah. You need a blood sacrifice. My child needs to die on the cross, or I need to become a man and then die on the cross. Yeah. Or am I just going to forgive? There's no questions. There's here pure forgiveness. Yeah. So there's a difference between me saying here take this, and then me saying I'm going to give this to you with some conditions. You're talking about grace and forgiveness. Yeah. But they're two separate things. I didn't say forgiveness. No, no, that's my point. You're talking about grace. I'm talking about forgiveness. Yeah. And uh, mercy. You're saying you're, you're granted access to Jannah through Allah who shows you mercy. That's what you just said, yeah? Yeah, great yes. um, mercy and forgiveness. Mm -hmm. yeah. So my question to you, just so I can... And define, define grace now. So what do you mean by grace? So I'm talking about what you just said. Okay. So just to ask you a follow-up question to that, which I'm really interested in this conversation, brother. Um, That's five minutes, brother. No problem. What's that? What's that? Call to you. Call to you. Call at 50, I'm done. Yeah? Oh, oh, oh. So you said, just to sum up what you said so far, yeah, you cannot be access um, Jannah through Prophet Muhammad because it's only through Allah's mercy. Yes. Or I would no, amend the language. Go ahead. The language can mislead. The more of the sort. We said he will show us the way, but basically what you're trying to say in meaning is the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him can't grant anyone paradise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That that. That ability is only given to Allah. Okay, and so. what I would say, which is why I said to you, there's the we disparity originally, and really it's not even a question, and it's just actually agreeing to disagree. The disparity is in Christ Jesus. I know I'm going. Preach to it, preach it. Go on. I know, I know I'm going to heaven through trusting in Christ Jesus. You are unsure. That's all I said. That's say, it. Say that again, sir. I know through Christ Jesus. I, it says in John 3 verse 3 No, no, you don't need to give your reference No, I do so Because I'm otherwise I'm just spewing nonsense I'm telling you where it is in the Bible In John 3 verse 3 It says, unless a man is born again They cannot inherit the kingdom of God Being born again is acceptance of Jesus Christ
Christ. Yes? No. So, As a wait, Muslim. wait, wait, wait. No, 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 wait. don't preach. No, no, no. Give me five minutes, brother. I didn't give you five yes, minutes did. to yes, preach. Did. He's a vibe. No, so, yes, no. Did. First have a dialogue. First have a dialogue. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm going to use up to you. I'm going to use up to you. Anyway, there's nothing you're going to say. You can only go to the Father through the Son. Yes, yeah, so that's now. how you are born yes. again. No. You grant access now, how to... Now, do you hold go on, to the Father hold through on, the Son? Hold on, hold on, hold on. By hold doing what on, Muslims do, hold on, by following his right teachings. By following his teachings. Let me finish what I'm saying. Let me finish what I'm saying. No, 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 no. Saying. you're preaching, said, <laughs> you're preaching. Disagree, this is where I said disagree to, um, um, agree to disagree. Because I know through Christ Jesus, I am going to heaven. You are unsure of what you've just said. You are right. sure? No, I didn't say that. You I, did. You said no, the Prophet Muhammad didn't. cannot grant you access to Jannah. I'm saying to you, whoever believes in the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, whoever believes in the message you came with, whoever believes in the Quran, who believes in Allah, will enter paradise. Whoever follows the examples of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, will enter paradise. So through following him is the only way for salvation. Does that make sense? And I would add to that, even as a Muslim, yeah, it's an article of faith. You have to accept and believe in Jesus Christ. Peace be upon you. <laughs> yeah, but this is where the difference lies. So your Jesus Christ didn't go through the death, burial, and resurrection. So it's not the same Jesus Christ. That's, I would agree. I would agree. Exactly. So that's why I said that's the difference. And my Jesus Christ, through resurrection, granted me the ability to see the Father. So right now, you're, you're complete. On that note, sir, thank you very much. No I sincerely appreciate it. Have a nice day, man. man. You too, yeah? Have a good one, Jesus yeah? Loves you. I know Jesus loves me, but does Jesus love you? No, I know. His, I have abundant love in him. Yeah? I know he loves me then so do you, much. Are you following the greatest commandment? Greatest yes. of all commandments? What is it? What, no, what is it to you? What is it? What did Jesus Christ say is the grace of all no, commandments? What, is, what do you think he said? Because we have the Lord Christ Israel. The Lord our God is one. Worship him with all your heart and all your might and love your brother like you love yourself. So are you worshipping the one God yeah. or are you believe in Trinity? Jesus Christ, no way in the entire Bible to Trinity. The word Trinity isn't in the Bible. Oh, now, go and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Doesn't mean that. that the Father and Son are the same. That, but the, the, word, the, word, the word Trinity is not a Bible word. It's, it's the I agree. Yes, I agree. It, but it's a name. It's a Trinitarian complex. And actually, if you do any research... The Trinitarian Bible, Church. Yeah, yes, go on. it's the Trinity. No, not the Church. The Trinitarian complex. Understanding that it's three in one. Throughout the entire Bible, even in Genesis, it mentions all three personas of God. Yeah. Even at, at the very start of the Bible. But as I said to you in 1 Corinthians 2.14, sure, the things of the natural man cannot understand you know the things of the Do you know in John 20.17, yeah, when Jesus Christ says, Touch me not, yeah, for I have I not ascended. Notes. This is my notes, isn't it? Man's keeping notes. These are so funny. Go Man's on keeping the Bible notes. app. Let's go. Why are your notes? Go on the Bible app, John so 2017. Yeah? It's my notes. It's my funny. notes. It's all right. So, what are you going to say? Yeah? John 2017. Go on, you read it. Go on, you, you want to <laughs> preach? Preach. Go on, read out the if you verses. Give me the floor to preach, I will preach. But no, 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 no. I'm not. Just quote, quote, quote. Listen, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour and you'll meet the Father. Anyway, John, John 2017, go on. Do not cling to me, I have not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, and to my God and your God. Does God, does Jesus Christ have a God? Does God have a God? Gentlemen, the mic is yours. God is God. Jesus is God. And so he must ascend to his father, your cool, father, cool. my God and your God. Does let's God go have a God? Let's go, okay, cool. You asked that question. Let's go to... I will drop the mic, let's but go it go doesn't belong Psalm, to me. Let's go to Psalm 45. Uh, Psalm 45. He who the brother's here. looking here. He's thinking, we've had a lengthier conversation. This is this is like an hour and a half conversation this, coming this in. Is, this is to the Messiah. But this yeah. is a real conversation. This, this, is, is, the, let the, hear what the yeah. Yeah. this is this is about the Messiah. Psalm 45, verse 6 to 7. He says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. Your love, you love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God. Your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. 
and this is the Father regarding the Messiah. This is God regarding the Messiah. And what did he so say? What, what are you saying? Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. So God has a God. Just says here. Therefore, God, your God. They're all God. That's what I'm saying. It's, so it's how God, many gods do you believe in? It's one God. But so when Jesus, yeah, yeah. Saying, when Jesus Christ is saying, when Jesus Christ is saying he's going to send to your God, yeah, to his God and your God. So God has a God. Jesus Christ has a God. Does that make sense? You can't leave the clear is verses. The Father is God. Yes, we know that. So and right now you're leaving God. ambiguous verses for I clear just, verses. I just, I, just, I, just brought, I just said, so what is therefore God, your God? What does that mean? So God is My saying, point this is, is look, God talking. He said, your look, God. He said, let's move God, on because right now, your God. I need to check what you're saying, read the verse and so on and so forth. Okay, cool. The moral of the story is, the your, your response, 30, your response, 30, we're going to wrap it up, your response, your response to Jesus Christ, God, 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 God having a God. I just said, so you're I just, agreeing with me, God has a God. And that's fine, we can, we can leave a conversation. I just quoted Tom. Yeah, God has a God. God has a, your, your God has a God. Your God has a God. That's not my God. My God is one alone. My God doesn't have a God. My God doesn't have a God. Right now, right now, let's not try to inflate what I'm saying. Because right now, I don't accept your scripture to be the perfect unchanged word of God. Because it doesn't claim to be the perfect unchanged word of God. What does my Quran say? So your Quran says that the people of the book are to judge by what was revealed to them, no? Give me the verse, man. What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know the Quran. No, 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 don't quote it. I know what you're talking about. Then do I. So then the, you don't know, the, so you're making it up. The, the Jews and the Christians are to judge by what was revealed to them. Does it not say that? What are you talking about? No, I'll, no, I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. Bring it up. We actually, if we're actually on this, I will actually bring it up. Come on, bro. Luke 24, 29. And he said to them, What things so they said to him, the things concerned the Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty indeed. We can go back, yeah? Well, show the verse to the people because I'm, I'm tired of this combo, man. I have Go on, what verses, is it? But I have more verses that contradict the Bible. I have See, men. here, here, categorically it says Jesus Christ. I'm a Jehu I was a Jehovah's Witness. So right? Jehovah's testimony! Jehovah's Witness. We've got a testimony here. Jehovah's Witness, they even believe it. What? It says Surah 547. Wait, wait. And let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed therein. And whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed, then it is those who are def defiantly disobedient. Okay. So I would now, tell us to judge now, by Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. If apparently it's Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your own scripture says I'm that. speaking, <laughs> Mama, you yeah, waiting for my right. response. <laughs> Give me the verse right now. Okay. Is, is what's been revealed? Do you have what's been revealed? Is the Bible the word of... What was revealed to Jesus Christ? So do we not have a Bible that's older than, older than what? I'm saying so the, your Bible. So the not I'm saying there's a difference between the Injil and the Bible. So what's the Injil? Injil was revealed to Jesus Christ, so peace be upon him. Bring, where is it? it we don't have it anymore. No, you tell me. We don't it have so it how do you know that? How do you know that? The Injil because is. Allah sent the final so, messenger okay, yeah. with the final scripture, go, go, the go. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him because there's no more messages to come cool. and Allah has preserved the final that's scripture, the Quran, because there's no more scriptures that's to come. That's Therefore, but we have the Quran. So what was? So what did, what did we have that we need to judge by then? No, what no, did, what uh, did you, you, you was giving me the verse. Come, Tell, show me where it says Bible. No, I, I'm not saying Bible. I'm, it says what was revealed. So what was revealed? Exactly. No, what so was what was revealed so what to Jesus? No, what do we judge? Isa it's not Jesus. Was, it's not Jesus. It says here. Yeah, Therefore, let the people of the gospel Judge by what Allah has revealed. Gospel? So, gospel? That's what it says here. Let then the what translation gospel. you go? When that, the the Quran doesn't say angel. anything. But, so, look, so what, what is this? What was revealed to us? Look, no, no, no. So, sorry, let me finish very okay, quickly. So, we're talking about the Injil. Now, no, there what? is no Injil. So, right now, I don't know what translation so, so you go. It doesn't say gospel. Does it make sense? Okay, but what is this then? It's the English translation. You can't translate some words like, for example, you can't translate the word. You know what I mean? Like, there's some Arabic words you can't really. So you're telling me that this, what this, this Quran is wrong. So you're telling me this, oh, what I've just read is wrong. Can I show you a lot of contradictions in the Bible? But before we go into, the, you, you, you guys can have this conversation. I'm saying the translation there, the, so whoever translated it, I don't even know. I've never read a Quran that uses the word 
gospel in it, yeah? Okay. So that must be the website, so yeah? let the people of the gospel judge by what is revealed. Yeah. Let the people... Of the gospel of the judge by what is revealed. No. Let the people yeah, of the Injil, when it refers to the scripture as rule to Jesus Christ, it was the Injil. So what is the Injil? I'm asking you, what is the Injil? And what, what does Injil mean? Injil is the scripture that was revealed to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We don't have the Injil now. Whenever, whenever you quote the Bible, whenever I quote the Bible, I'm not quoting the Injil. Yeah, I'm not going to attribute and say, oh, John 17, 3, um, for eternal life that they may know the only true God. Yes, this agrees with what Islam teaches, yeah, but I can't say this is the Injil. So what, what was revealed to us that, what was revealed to the people of the book? That's what I'm asking. Yeah. The people of the gospel. What, what was revealed, revealed to them is no the longer gospel. here. So why does it say that? It doesn't exist okay, anymore. Cool. But why does yeah. it end by saying that is those who, so it says, and whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed, then it is those who are defiantly disobedient. Indeed, indeed, indeed. So why does it say that? That's... Yeah. Whoever doesn't so judge, we need by... to judge by what is revealed to us. That's basically what Allah says. No, Allah says, you just we... read the verse Relax, and you're not. Listen, listen, listen. That's you... not what he says. What does the verse said? It's clear what the verse says. Judge by what's it revealed. Yeah, that Allah has revealed. What so, has Allah revealed? The so, Quran. No, you have to it judge. says, let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed therein. Man, go to Quran.com, yeah? Open up some authentic translations so, to make life Quran. easier. No. Is this? this is not Quran.com. Just type in Quran.com and then you can get different translations and it will help you on your journey of knowledge, gaining knowledge. I've got a crown in my bag, do you want to use that? No, I've got a crown in my hand. In my hand. Yeah. But let them let him do yeah. it. Really it's, it's done though, yeah? The more yeah, no, it is, is done because. What was revealed, time, yeah? Right? Now, Allah so revealed. Unless, unless... Is that yours or this? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I'm to say, being, unless, being polite, it's being very polite. Um, unless, unless, the, unless you're saying Allah didn't reveal nothing to the Christians, unless we're not his people, then that's fine. Because I don't even believe in that Allah is my God. I'll be real. Because I know, I know I don't my God expect is the Father. You to. Yeah, I know my God is the Father. That's okay, that's Father okay. Father that was revealed through Jesus. Unfortunately, that's the case. Does it make sense? The moral of the story is... Okay. Yeah? No, well, I mean, no, 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 Jesus Christ the only sin is fine, so that's If we're going to be... Unless we're gonna call him a liar. This, this, this is the difference. Yeah, I can be a sinless man. Yeah, but you're not a sinless man. Now, in Islam, if you do a accepted repentance, your past sins are forgiven. Anyone reverts as soon as they become Muslim, their past sins are forgiven. A accepted Hajj, the past sins are forgiven. Does it make sense? We as Muslims believe all messengers of God are sin free. We don't believe David saw a woman bathing and then sent her husband to war three times so he can wed her. Do you believe that? We don't believe Noah um, got drunk and committed incest. We don't, we don't attribute do sinful behavior. I believe in Moses, yes. Do you believe he sinned? No, 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 no. He didn't so sin. He didn't, he didn't kill him. We don't, we don't believe Abraham sinned. You don't believe he killed him? Moses. Now. So I've heard about... Moses, now. peace be upon him, yeah accidentally pushed someone and um, he passed away or punched someone yeah. now in yes accidentally now he didn't punch him with the intent to commit murder in islam there's three situations right if you do something accidentally it's forgiven if you do something um, out of ignorance it's forgiven if you do something in your sleep it's forgiven yeah so again it falls within that criteria yeah. We, 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 don't, we don't believe, we don't need to believe Jesus, God, became a man and died on the cross for our sins. We believe a good deed is an expiation for a bad deed. We believe that if you get cut by a thorn of a rose, it's an expiation of your sins. We don't need to believe in a blood sacrifice. And then the other questions arise that, look, you've got the blood sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> I need to go with martial arts training, man. My class starts at eight. Um, but yeah, yeah. Thanks so much for your time, and yeah, have a nice evening. Yeah. You too. Man. Thank you. Pray Jesus comes and. Habibi, may Allah bless you. You waited patiently, man. I'm gonna let you say the final words, whatever you want to say. Bismillah. Well, may Allah bless you all. Whoever's watching. Amen, amen. May Allah reward you all.
for me personally, I'm a revert to Islam, alhamdulillah, ya rabbil alameen. Um, I was born and raised up as a Jehovah's Witness. They believe in one God, because there's only one God in the Bible. They follow the Bible accordingly. Um, but of course, the, uh, the Bible isn't a reliable source at the end of the day. You've got a lot of numerical contradictions, you've got just contradictions, and there's a lot of things that... So how old was it when you became Muslim? Well, I remember this is uh, Ramadan. And um, both parents are Jehovah's Witnesses, or what's the situation? Yeah, my mom is. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. And you were raised by your mom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Alhamdulillah. So, Alhamdulillah. Welcome back to the Deen, my bro. Um, have you got like good brothers? Because you're quite new to the Deen yeah, after yeah, one yeah, of year. Course, of course. Hopefully, hopefully you've got some good brothers around you. Yeah, of and course. one thing, Akhi, even myself who's in the Dao scene, like, you know, it's good when we're trying to rebuttal Christians and give Dawah and we're learning other scriptures just to like um, articulate the message to them. But we need to go back to the Quran and so Sunnah. We need to like gain knowledge and study and make that personal connection with Allah. And Alhamdulillah, I pray that's the case with yourself. I pray that's the case with myself. Um, May Allah bless you, my bro. And yeah, we're here um, on different days. We're outside Shadwa on Wednesdays. Join us there, Akhi. Saturdays, there's brothers giving down in Stratford. Here, there's brothers on Friday. So, yeah, do the Dawah and then I'll like to see you in action, and we'll talk, my bro. Inshallah.